Hello, algebra students. Today we are going to just quickly review uh, all the stuff that we've been working on this week. We have been writing equations of lines given all kinds of different situations. In this first problem, we have a line that's graphed and we need to get the equation of that line. We actually practiced that when we were graphing lines so that you could recognize what kind of slope we had, recognize what the y-intercept is. That's the same thing that we need to do here. So I can see that my y-intercept right there is at 5. And I can see that my slope is negative because it's going downhill as I go from left to right. And I see a nice intersection right there and right there. So when I'm counting my slope, I know that I'm going to be moving down. 1, 2, 3 and over 2. So my slope is negative 3 over 2. I could do that again, down 3 over 2. So I know my slope, I know my y-intercept. The equation is going to be y equals negative 3 over 2. Don't forget the x plus 5. A couple more just like that. These two both happen to have positive slopes. I can see that my y-intercept is at negative 1. And I know that right here is a nice intersection, and so is that point right there. So my slope is moving up 1 and over. 1, 2, 3, 4. And again, I could check it again. Up 1 over 1, 2, 3, 4. So the equation is going to be y equals 1 fourth x minus... 1. The second problem on this slide has, a, again, a positive slope, but my y-intercept is now at negative 3. And it's a little harder on this graph. I picked this one in particular because you don't see any nice points unless you go to the very edges of the graph. The slope here is moving up 2 and over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So my slope is 2 fifths. Up 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the equation is going to be y equals 2 fifths x minus 3. On the worksheet today, you're going to have some problems that are literally this easy. If I tell you the slope and I tell you the y-intercept, can you write the equation for me? And for this, again, this is the m. The y-intercept is the b. So y equals 7 over 2x plus 3. Again, the only place that I could possibly see people making mistakes on this is for getting the x. Right? We're giving you the m. We're giving you the b. This should be really, really fast and easy to finish this part. So... For the second one, y equals, the slope is 1 fourth, put your x, minus 5. Now, I'm looking for equations in point-slope form. So, point-slope form, remember, is y minus y sub 1, the y number, equals m times x minus x sub 1, or the x number from the ordered pairs. So, this is an x, this is a y, and these are really my subscripts of 1. So y minus my y number equals, here's my slope, x minus the x number. And since it just asked for point slope, we're practically done here. The only thing that I would want you to clean up is to change this into addition. On the second problem, y minus the y number is just that regular 5. The slope is a negative 1. x minus the x number is a negative 5. So you have to be careful about getting that minus a negative right there. And again, point slope, that's done. No other work to do. Here, I want the same thing. I want point slope form. But then I also want you to change it into slope-intercept form. And we have practiced that. Remember, it's a two-step process. So we're going to start with point-slope. y minus my y number equals my slope. And then in parentheses, x minus the x number. I would kind of clean all that up. So there's my point-slope equation. To get slope-intercept, I have to distribute, and then I have to move the number that's with the y.
So I have y plus 3. That's going to be a negative 1x. And negative 1 times 1 is just going to be a negative 1. I'm going to write it as plus a negative 1 just to be careful here. And to get rid of adding 3, I would subtract 3. So I have y equals negative 1x. This is a negative 1 plus a negative 3 is a negative 4. So you could say plus a negative 4, or you could just say minus 4, either way. And then the second problem, y minus my y number. The slope is a negative 3 over 2, so we're throwing a fraction in here, x minus the x number. When I distribute this, negative 3 over 2x, that's no problem. There, that'll be a negative times a negative, which is going to be a positive, and you can certainly do this if you want to. 3 over 2 times 2, or 2 over 1, is just going to be 3. And again, in the last video I said you can certainly use a calculator, or you can write it out 3 over 2 times 2 over 1. I would do some simplifying there. That just gives me 3 over 1, or just 3. And then my last step is just get rid of the 1. y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 4. The last two problems are actually older problems, but we're going to be bringing this back in um, since we're writing in point slope form and slope intercept form. Slope gets used a lot. And the next thing that we'll add when we start to do some more work is we're going to be asking you to find the slope given two points. So let's start with our slope formula, which is m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And when we've done this in the past, I'm going to do one problem one way and one problem the other way. I'll start by labeling. Here's an x and a y, and an x and a y. And then I can make either pair my 1s or either pair my 2s. It really, truly doesn't matter. Again, I've said this many times, but I think that most students like to do this. So my slope will be y sub 2 is negative 3 minus y sub 1 is 0. x sub 2 is 2 minus x sub 1 is 5, just putting our numbers in the right places. So on the top, negative 3 minus 0 is just going to be negative 3. On the bottom, 2 minus 5, I could do 2 plus a negative 5, which is negative 3. That negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1. And for our last problem, let's do the same thing, um, except instead of labeling everything, let's do this where we connect the y's on the top and the x's on the bottom. So my slope, uh, let's go with 2 minus 3. That was here, 2 minus 3. Then on the bottom, I have to do 3 minus 0. So 2 minus 3 is going to be a negative 1. 3 minus 0 is just 3. If you had gone with the other order, you would have had 3 minus 2, which is a positive 1, but 0 minus 3 is a negative 3. So either way, one of those numbers is going to be negative, which gives us a negative fraction. So there's the slope. At the end of your worksheet, you do have several problems like this. The worksheet today is writing equations of lines. It has all the same examples of what I just did with graphs, giving you a slope and an intercept, giving you a point and a slope, asking for point slope or slope intercept form, and just finding slopes. So uh, feel free to go back and watch the video if you need to. Again, if you need any help, the answer key is in Schoology, and there's a formative, but don't forget there is a quiz tomorrow. So if you need any help with this, let me know.